is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the <laughs> annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. channel if you're new here welcome so today I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this Lady Liberty makeup look from purge election year I've wanted to do this look for quite some time now and honestly what better time of year than Halloween every weekday of the month of October I upload a new Halloween themed makeup tutorial and every other Saturday of the month I upload a spoopy Saturday which is basically just a Halloween fun video that is not makeup related to help break up all of the makeup videos so anyways without further ado if you guys are interested in seeing how you can turn yourself into to a Lady Liberty from The Purge instead of doing the easy thing and just buying a mask from Spirit Halloween, then just keep watching. Hey Spooks, welcome back. Good to see you again. We're going to be starting off by popping in some black sclera contact lenses and then going into gluing down our eyebrows. I'm going to be taking an Elmer's glue stick, brushing that upwards in my eyebrow hairs. I'm going to be taking a disposable spoolie and brushing that up as well. And once it is tacky, I'm even going to be taking a spatula to brush that up and help flatten that as well before going into some baby powder and just setting this area. You're going to repeat these steps until your brows are completely flat against your forehead. I usually have to do it about three times in order for mine to be completely gone. Next, I'm going to be taking my Moon Creations Body Paint Crayon in Sky Blue, and I'm just going to be using this to outline the areas that I want my mask to be. So this is really all over your head, making some eye holes, and I'm actually going to be cutting off at the forehead a little bit because in all of the images, they actually seem to have like some blood dripping onto their head, so I wanted to mimic that and leave some room for that as well. Next, I'm going to be taking my Maron Paradise Paint and Teal, and using this, I'm going to be filling in all of that open space that we just outlined with our body paint crayon. A tip I always recommend is I personally love to use a fluffy foundation brush in order to apply body paint. I just feel like it makes it way less streaky, and it definitely is a lot easier to blend. I'm then going to be going into my Maron Paradise Paint in Deep Sea, and using this, I'm actually going to be applying it with a stipple brush and just applying it all over the mask to help create some texture. I'm going to be going back into my baby powder and just lightly applying this all over that body paint to help set it for later on. Next, I'm going to be going into my Marilyn Paradise Paint in Black, and using this, I'm going to go ahead and outline the mask eye holes and fill that in. I'm going to be creating a little crescent shape on my top eyelid, making sure to keep it under my brow bone, and then just applying a little bit to my lower lash line as well. And of course, since this is body paint, you definitely want to make sure to set that with some black eyeshadow. We are then going to be repeating that on our other eye as well. Next, we will be taking our Maybelline Lasting Drama Eyeliner in Sleek Black and just applying this to our lower waterline to help darken that up some more before going into our Marilyn Paradise Paint in White and mixing that with some of our Marilyn Paradise Paint in Light Blue and using this to highlight our mask. I highly recommend looking at reference photos for this just to make sure that you're applying it where the light would hit, which would be under the eyes, the forehead, and even a little bit along the jawline and cheekbones as well. Next, I will be going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette, taking Axis. I'm going to be using this to help darken the surrounding areas of our eye sockets before going into my Morphe Jaclyn Hill Eyeshadow Palette, taking these two dark teal colors and using that to deepen and shadow even more and even bringing that down to the lower lash line as well. We're also going to be taking those colors onto a fluffy brush and using that, we're going to be contouring our cheekbones, our forehead, and our jaw. We're then going to be going into just the lighter teal color and using this, we're really going to be blending this around the entire eye area. Going back into deep sea, we're going to be using this on the stipple brush once again and just lightly applying this all over the mask before going into our Graftobian Pro Paint and Mantis Green using a chip brush. We're going to be splattering this all over the mask to really bring in some of those fluorescent green colors. 
We're also going to be mixing some of the white body paint with the mantis green body paint and using this we're going to be creating some individual dots all over the mask to really help bring out even more of that fluorescent color scheme and kind of help really define those dots as well. Next, we're going to be applying some of the blood to the mask. I'm going to be using my Ben Nye Dark Blood and using a reference photo and a Q-tip. I'm just going to be applying this in as similar of a pattern as possible that she has in the movie. I'm then going to be going back into my Maron Paradise paint in white and using this I'm just going to be lightly outlining the area that she has her smile on her face and then I'm going to be taking some of the string that I got from Joanne Fabrics. It's really cheap and affordable and I'm going to be applying that with liquid latex. I first cut some string, measured it out to my face and the way I did it is I folded the string in half just so I didn't have to glue down two separate pieces. It just made it a lot easier. So I'm just going to be gluing that onto my face and then applying the few stitches that she has along her mouth. She also has a fun little nose ring kind of looking piece that I'm going to be gluing down as well. And once that is done, I'm actually going to be chiseling out this mask with my Maron Paradise paint in black just to really help separate it from our face. And to do that even more, we're going to be going into these two eyeshadows from our Morphe Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette and just adding some shading to our neck right under the mask. I'm going to be going into my Graftopian Pro Paint in Mantis Green, mixing that with some of our Maron Paradise Paint in White again. We're going to be painting this string. You can do this before you glue it onto your face, I just found it a lot easier to try and do it after so that way you're not wasting paint. And then I'm going to be going into just the Maron Paradise Paint in White and using this I'm going to be adding some highlights to this string just to really help make it look like it is fluorescent and that it is lit up. We're then going to be going into our Maron Paradise paint in black and using this we're going to be shading some of the stitches just to help make it look a little bit more realistic and repeating the exact same process onto our eyes following the reference photo. So once again I just looped the string twice, glued that on to my face. Once again I personally like to glue it above the eyebrows. I just am finicky and I try to avoid applying latex anywhere near my eyebrows so even though they are covered and more protected I still wanted to apply it above just because I'm not taking any chances. I'm also going to be applying some shading to the entry points of the X as well, once again to make it look like it is actually stitched through the mask. And last but not least, I'm going to be taking my Vampire Blood from Walmart. Using a really cheap brush, I'm going to be using this to apply to the forehead because once again in the reference photo I used, she has a really bloody forehead and I'm just going to apply that so it's dripping down the mask all creepy like and even splatter that onto my chest and dress as well. And that is the completed Purge Lady Liberty makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below what video you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my Halloween videos. I do upload a new Halloween themed makeup look every weekday for the entire month of October and you definitely don't want to miss it. So anyways, with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!